Hiya. Right, last example for the third lesson. So I've got a graph here on the displacement. Um, so a particle P can move in a straight line on a horizontal surface. At time t, the displacement of P from a fixed point A on the line is x metres. Oh, that's just a vertical height. So I've got 0 to 10. Uh, so the speed is either 4 or 0. Right, so let's have a look then. So, my vol so let's think about the speed first. The speed is 4. So my velocity is going to be plus or minus 4, depending on which direction I'm going. So here my velocity is 0. Here, because it's a negative, my velocity is minus 4. There. Here my velocity is negative, here my velocity is minus 4. Here my velocity is 4, and my velocity is 4. Right, so, what have we got to do? Uh, right. Show by calculation that t is 1.75. Okay, so from time t through to 3 seconds, I know my gradient's minus 4. I know that that distance there is 3 minus t. I know that there is 5. So my minus 4 is a change going up. Oops. which is 5, over a change going across, which is 3 minus t. Um, yeah. Switch them. So 3 minus t is minus 5 over 4. Add on the 5 over 4. So 3 plus 5 over 4 is 4 and a quarter. Uh, hang on. 3 minus 2 minus. That's going down as well. That's minus. Yeah. That's minus, minus to make plus. Oh, why do I think I've made a mistake? Right, I'm pausing. I'm pausing to make sure I get this right. Right, we're back on. Yeah, got my signs all sorted. Minus 5 because it's going down. 3 minus 2. Yeah. Right, do a switch. So I've got 3 minus 2. It's positive 5 over 4. Do a switch around. 3 minus 5 over 4 is t. So 3 minus 1 and a quarter gives me 1.75 seconds for t. So that's part 1. Sorry about that. So my velocity was going down. So my change is going down here. Donkey. Right, part two then. So state the velocity at t is 2, t is 8, and t is 9. So I've said that t there is 1.75. So if I know that this is 1.75, for t is 2, it must be minus 4, because it's got to be in there somewhere, hasn't it? Uh, so part two, so when t is 2, my velocity is minus 4 meters per second. When t is 8, let's have a look. So t is 8, my velocity is plus 4. When t is 9, go back up to the picture. You think it's 0, but it just means your displacement is 0. You're still travelling. You kind of just, you've travelled away, spun around, and now you're travelling back type of thing. So you kind of, you go away, you come back, stay there for a bit, wander off the wrong direction, turn around, come back to where you are, and then keep on walking. It's proper all over the show. But at night, my velocity is four. There. Part three. Calculate the distance travelled by T. Right, let's have a look at these distances then. 
So distance, I'm not bothered about the direction, am I? Uh, Right, so we're going to be careful with these. We've got to think about what the graph is. It's so easy to start thinking, ha ha, area under a curve. Well, this is already the distances. So I'm just reading off the values. So if you think, initially I'm five, column, five meters away. So I'm five meters away, I come back, I sit there. Now for two seconds, I travel at minus four meters per second. So that's got to be eight meters away, hasn't it? So let's have a think then. So from naught to five, I guess. So from naught to five, my distance is five meters. From five to seven, My distance is four times two. Then from seven to nine, so I travel from, let's have a think about this. Um, you're traveling for three seconds there at four meters per second. So the total distance is five plus eight plus 12, just making sure I've got that right, 25 meters. There, there we go. Done. Excellent. Brilliant.